G'day guys, how are we going? Well in this video, I'm gonna show you three different ways how I set up the guy ropes on my awning where I'm going camping. Now, depending on the conditions and how hard the ground is to maybe which way I might set my ropes up. Now, two out of the three options I'm about to show you, I get asked a fair bit about because people have either seen them through photos or other videos that I've posted on my social media platforms. So, let's get into this video. Just before we get started and I show you these few options about setting my guy ropes up, look, we all start somewhere and we're probably all thinking, well, you know, how easy is it to put a guy rope up and, and that sort of thing, but we all learn and start somewhere. Look, I learned how to put guy ropes and set up tents and, and go camping over 45 years ago when I went through the scouting movement. So we all start somewhere and it's really good to give some pretty basic, simple tips back to those people that are just getting started out. So the first option I'm gonna show you here, this is one of the three that I get asked about a fair bit on how good the setup is. So I'll show you this one. But you need rear bars as I've got, and it's really handy if you've got rock sliders for the other end. So I just hook it on the front there, like on the back there like that, pull that up, and that one there set up, and it's come over this side. No pegs required, it's really good. As I say, if you're in rock hard ground, you can't get a peg in the ground. That one just goes over the front there like so, and that is absolutely all set up in no time flat. And it's not gonna lift off the ground, it's solid as a rock, and it's well mounted back to the vehicle, and no pegs required. So we'll get into the second, second option, and I'll show you that one. Okay, so this option I'm about to show you now, this is probably pretty much the standard way, I think how probably most people would set up the guy ropes on the morning when they're going out camping. It's pretty much just straight out, I've got a 45 degree angle out from the pole, but you need a peg to make this one happen. So you just grab your rope, put your peg in the ground. Now what's really important here, with your peg, make sure you put it in on an angle. So that way it'll grip the ground a lot better and it'll be a lot harder to pull out of the ground in case the wind gets up during the middle of the night. If you put it in straight up and down, or even back on an angle like that, it's just gonna pull straight out as soon as any tension gets on that awning with wind overnight. So put it in on, on a bit of an angle, back towards the awning like so. Put the rope over the peg, tighten him up, and just give it another hit and knock that peg home. And then it's just the same the other side. So we'll set this one up over here. Okay, so this is just the other side. Exactly the same as what we did over that side. Just put your peg in the ground, put it back on the angle like I showed over there, hit it in, just keep a little bit sticking out the top, rope over the top like so, pull that up nice and tight, and then just finish banging that in the ground. So there you go. So there's that option there. As I say, this is probably how most people would set up their awnings. Again, solid as a rock. Your, your awning's not gonna take off, you know, if the wind gets up while you're out there camping. So there's two options. Let's get into the third one. Okay, so I'm just about to show you now the third and final option on how I generally set my guy ropes up, depending on conditions and certainly the ground. And out of the three, this is probably the most chosen way that I now set my guy ropes up. So this peg here is for that rope going up there. So just angle the peg away from the pole Belt him in just till it hits the, before it hits the ground. Bring that down there, put your rope over the top, tighten that up, hit that home. Other peg, same deal, angle it away from the pole, just before it hits the ground. Get your rope over it, tighten that up, and then hit that home. Now there you go. Now that's the chosen way that I generally do my guy ropes now, because the thing I like about this option, there's no trip hazards out there if you have kids and anyone that's sort of running around. There's no ropes out there for anyone to trip over. Still got good access in through under your awning under here. So that's the three ways that I set my guy ropes up. I'd be pretty keen to see if you've got some other options on maybe how you might set your guy ropes up. Chuck them in the comments below. And, uh, and as you can see, it's nice and solid, so it's not gonna go anywhere either, just like the other two options that I was only to show you. But one last tip, when you wanna get your pegs out of the ground, just letting that rope off, pull your rope back on exactly the same angle that the peg's gone into. And that way, it'll just slide straight out, because if you try and pull against that angle, you're never gonna get it out. So slide your rope down there, pull it out on the same angle, and there you go. Job's done, ready to move on to your next camp. So there you go, guys. That's my tip from Batesy's Tips of this, this week. Look forward to seeing you guys on the next one. Catch you later on.